Hey guys, it's Com B, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a simple way to set up a progression level system in Rec Room. This is a beta feature that just came out very recently, and yeah, I've been toying around with it, and I'll just show you the basics of how it works, but there's a lot more you could do with it, so yeah, let's get into the video. The first thing that you'll want to do before you do get started is you'll want to make sure in your room settings that you scroll down and make sure you have the allow creative tools in beta content checked or else you will not see the new beta chips that aren't fully released uh, next up you'll want to go to progression setup make sure you check check off the enable room progression and we'll just leave it as is right now we'll also want to create a couple more items. So I'm going to create a currency so that way when you do get uh, hit a certain XP and change levels that it will grant you, in this case, I'll make it maybe like 10 gold coins. So we'll have that, gold coins, uh, the daily limit, Right now, I'm just going to put to a thousand. We don't really care. This is just an example. And yeah, we'll hit save. So now we have a currency set up. We'll also want to add some rewards. So let's add a reward called gold coin reward. And we'll say 10 gold coins. And that will be the reward type. You could have keys, currencies, or consumables. Obviously, we're going to do a currency for this example. We'll do 10 gold coins. Hit save. And now we should be ready to set up the actual CV2. All right, so we're going to want to take out a, our maker pen. And we're going to add a bunch of circuits. We'll start off with just a simple event receiver. I'll just put make sure we're on snapping to surface. There we go. We have an event receiver. We'll also want to have a data read cell chip. And we'll just put that right next to it. We'll want to have a grant reward. And add that. And we'll also want to have a show reward notification. All right. We'll link everything up in a moment, but let's add the most important chip, which is the room levels chip. And this is the one. If you want to find it the long way, go to circuits, go over to game features and hit progression, and you'll be able to see all the different chips related to room levels. So yeah, let's go add our room levels. And we're going to configure this chip. So edit room levels table, we'll want to create, this is a table, basically we're gonna show how much XP is needed for each level. So right now we're on level zero. Eventually we'll get up to one, two, three, and so on. Uh, the way you add different levels is by hitting this button here, it adds a row. So we'll just start with three levels. So we'll say you need 10 XP to get to level one. 20 for level 2, and 30 for level 3. We'll also want to have a reward column. And you'll want to hit reward here. Again, there's a lot of other items that you could add and functionality, but we're just going to go simple and add a reward column. And we'll say, okay, every time you level up, you get a gold coin reward. If you had multiple rewards set up, you could have different ones for each level, but we're just going to have the same reward system set up. Make sure you hit the save button. All right, so it does save the room when you do adjust the room levels, and that is because if you go to this room progression, you'll see that we now have this beautiful reward set up, and it looks just like the Make It to Midnight, which is what they use to create the game. You'll also notice that it's showing the level we're on as well as the XP we have to get to the next level and our name, which 
my case right now is zombie for Halloween. It's normally zombie. All right, next up, we're going to add a couple more chips. We'll start with the Get Player Local chip. The Room Level HUD, which is going to show us our progression on the top right hand side of our screen. Next up, we'll also want a two string. This is going to convert our player name so that you can see that again on the top right of your screen. We'll want to set game HUD element value so we can see what our level is. We'll want a label. That'll be our name. And we'll want one more value. I'm actually going to add a currency component to our HUD. And you know what? Let's get a little fancy. Let's let's add some color. So HUD color elements. We'll want to set that. And we'll just add two of those. All right. So we're almost all set up. We'll want to get one one more event receiver i know it's a lot of chips guys all right an event receiver and a player award xp because how else are we going to get xp obviously if you're in a pvp game or something <laughs> with a much bigger setup that yeah you'll link that to your award xp but for this case every time i press the button we're going to award one xp all right all right so now our chips what are we going to do we're going to say we want to read the data table read cell we're going to want to read the room levels table and we want to look up what the reward is okay and you'll notice that little reward node has just been added to our chip our event receiver will be level reach so every time we reach a new level it's going to look up the row that we're in so if we reach level one or two it's going to look up that row and it's going to look up the reward column and it's going to grant that reward there we go on complete we want it to show that reward and we'll have a duration of three seconds all right in terms of showing this on our screen let's actually we're going to need three room level hoods um the first one we're going to have the element be a progress wheel the second one, we're going to want it, the element to be a title. And we'll want it to have the player name. And the third one is going to be an inventory slot one. And it's going to show a custom variable. All right. There's one or more, two more chips that I did not yet add. One would be the currency balance. We'll add that to the bottom, as well as a room currency constant. All right, if we configure the room currency chip to gold coins, we could link that up to, we wanna figure out what the currency balance is we're how do we activate this let's go to our event receiver and update that to 30 hertz we want it to run our hud elements we could just link those in just a simple pattern and yeah there we go so and let's let's link up our room level hood so that'll go there that'll go there and they'll go there. So those are our three elements. The first one is the level, the second one's our name, and the th third one is the currency. 
So what's the value of the currency? We'll link that to our total balance. What is our element label, which is our name? We'll want to convert our name to string and link our name to that label. And what is our level? We could just link that straight to our level. All right, I just realized that my level is one and it's showing I'm halfway to the next level, even though I do not yet have any XP. And the reason is because I forgot to configure this first item, the first HUD progress wheel to show the room level progress. All right, so now it's not showing any progress. So if I hit this button, all right, now it reset us to that level zero, which we're at. It gave us a little bit of yellow. And you know what? Let's go ahead and change the color of this text. So let's just link those to our different HUD elements. We'll want one to be red and one to be blue. I don't know. It just looks nicer. No, actually, I'm not a fan of the blue. Let's change that to, let's change that to lavender, uh, much better. All right. So every time I press this button, it's going to increase my XP. I've hit it twice so far and you can see player get XP. I'm at two. There is a slight delay before it does hit your balance. So if you press this twice really quickly, it'll take a moment because it's very similar to like a currency chip where it takes a moment to register your balance. All right, so every time I press that, it should increase my XP up until the point where I should hit 10. So I'm only a few away. And then what will happen is it will award me that level. Yeah, there we go, 10 gold coins. And you could also see in the top Right in my screen, I have 10 coins. I could do this again and keep pressing. Again, there's a delay in the progress wheel, but that's completely normal. I should almost be there. And hopefully we'll get to level two. Right now we're on level one. And we're up to level two. Okay, level two, we got our 10 gold coins, again, you could put a picture to make it look prettier, but this is just a quick example. So let's go over how we set this up. So we have this button here that every time we press it, we grant the player one XP. We have the player get room level. So this is just what level we're up to. I'm up to level two. That will feed into the first room level HUD. And we're setting the value of that to two. And that's our pr progress wheel. The color is red. Next, we're going to get our player name, put it to a string, and that'll be our label up on the top right. Right now it says zombie. Then we'll want to get the room currency or whatever element that you want to show. And it'll set the currency below the progress wheel. And that's in an inventory slot. If you want to look up your XP, you could just hover over here and use this for other purposes. Most importantly, our room levels table, we learned how to populate, add rows and columns, add the rewards that we want to show on our progress um, tab, which is really nifty. Next up, what we did is we have this event receiver that says every time you reach a level, it's going to read the second column, which is the reward column. And whatever reward that is, it's going to grant to the player. And when it's complete, it's going to show that 
notification that we just saw. That's really it. I mean, I know it seems kind of complicated, but very few chips to actually get this up and running. Hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll continue to do more tutorial videos. Alright, see you guys later.